Hey guys, welcome back to program up and today in this episode we're gonna talk about the MacBook Air with the M2 processor. What is the probable date of launching MacBook Air with the M2 processor and when can we actually expect it? Should we invest into a laptop right now with the M1 processor or should we wait for the M2 processor? We'll be answering all your questions in this video and try to break this down to the depth. So let's start with it first of all. So guys, firstly, if you're trying to make a decision right now over here to purchase a new laptop so if you're into this dilemma and confusion that should you go along with m1 processor macbook or should you wait to buy the m2 processor macbook so my answer to this would be you should be considering right now to purchase the macbook air with the m1 processor so the reason for that is because m2 processor won't be launched until october or november of this year so it's really far away right now if you compare right now into the february month it's all around at least eight to nine months away from being launched because there are a lot of products to be launched and before those products are actually launched m2 won't be launching so let me break this down with all the complete series of events so every year apple tries to hold four events firstly they have a spring event that is held in the month of march or april and this year it will be held into the march month and this is by far confirmed by most of the leakers around there so 8th of march is a probably confirmed date for a spring event of apple and in this event of apple we'll get to see the launch and the release of ipad air 5 with a new upgrade to the iPhone SE with a 5G cellular technology and also we'll get to see one of the Mac and that Mac will probably be a Mac Mini. So these are the three products that we are expecting to see into the spring event of Apple and there won't be any other product than this. And now after that, since the Mac Mini that will be launching in the spring event will come with M1 Pro or the M1 Max processor. So both of the processor will come combined into the Mac Mini and also there is one more product that is left out to be upgraded and that is the iMac and the iMac Pro. So those are the two products that are to be upgraded that are the 27 inches the higher end iMacs. So that are to be upgraded with the M1 Pro and the M1 Max processor and before that we cannot expect to get M2 processor. So after the spring event Apple holds WWDC event that will be held in the month of June or July. So in that event, we can get to see the new iMacs coming in with the M1 Pro or with the M1 Max processor. And also we'll get to see some software upgrades to all the devices. So that will be really good over there. But in WWDC, that is a specific event made for the developers around the world and in which we always get to see some software upgrades and no product upgrades. So we do expect to get IMAX into the WWDC, but it can actually get shifted to some other event as well. But there's a clear expectation that we can say that in the WWDC, we can get to see the IMAX launching. And after that, we have the September or the October event that has been held for the iPhones. So this year into the September or October, we'll get to see the new iPhone 14 launching. Along with that, we'll get to see some more products that can be iWatch and some HomePod mini and so on the things. But those will be the small essential products. So iPhone is the primary focus of this event. And I don't think so that Apple will try to diverge the complete focus from iPhone to some other product in that event because if there's some other product like the MacBook Air M2 is launching in that event so there will be completely two products that needs attention and both will not get the proper attention so that is the reason in that event either we cannot get to see the MacBook Air with the M2 processor and so we finally come to the last event that Apple holds in the month of October or November and that is specifically made for the MacBooks and the Macs. So in that event, just as the last year they made it, so last year Apple awaited us for a complete whole time and they brought us to the Unleashed event that was held in the month of October where they launched the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro and the M1 Max processor. So they tried to make the complete focus and attention onto the new MacBook Pro 
with the M1 Pro and the M1 Max processor. And similar to that, this year either they will make this event that will be held in the month of November or October. So they will try to launch the MacBook Air with the M2 processor along with the MacBook Pro with the M2 processor. So those two products will be launched into that event and all the attention will be now onto the M2 processor, the new Apple Silicon releasing this year. Also, we are expecting that we'll get to see Mac Mini as well with the M2 processor because the prior Mac Mini with the M1 processor will be then disregarded since we are getting a new complete design to the Mac Mini in the month of March. So the same design will be used for the Mac Mini for the M2 processor as well and that will be launching in that same event along with the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro with the M2 processor. So guys, this is the complete updates and what we can actually estimate for the launch of the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro with the M2 processor. And if you're trying to wait for that event, so, so that is really long time since now because that is around eight to nine months at least to be launched. So if you're trying to make a decision to purchase a new laptop, I will say that this is the right time to go ahead because time is really important and products will get upgraded every now and then. So even if you just wait for the M2 processor, after some couple of months, you'll get to see some other processors. So it doesn't completely make some sense to wait for such a long period of time just to upgrade to a new laptop. So if you want to purchase a new laptop, go along having MacBook Air with the M1 processor and that is one of the very good laptops right now by Apple. So you can go along having that or if you have some more utility, some more demands of performance, you can go along having the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro or the M1 Max processor that will be also a good choice for you. So guys, these are the complete updates about the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro with the M2 processor. And if you've got any more questions, any more doubts and your opinions, please leave that down in the comment section below. We'll be happy to read that and reply to you. And if you liked our video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe us and meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.